Man, I gotta say, this is a beautiful song that you're singing, mate. I mean, the strings are very somber, and the atmosphere is great, and everyone in a pub loves a bard. And oh, while you're not, you're not, you're you're not moving your lips. True, 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 true. The good sir, you are an artist. <laughs> hey, everyone, welcome back to Zinger Blade Chronicles Two. In the last episode, we started in Lefteria, and you might be wondering why we are back here. Well, unfortunately, due to our, our well anticipation to get out to Lefteria, we forgot something. This woman has been waiting for us to get flowers, and she's been waiting here to pay. A Pay agently, listening to this guy non stop. Anyway, let's not waste any more time and let us give her her, her the flowers. And of course, she greets us with flat more side quests. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bertie. Expect school, no one but can make a dream, fleeting vision. Need you help me, help me. Okay, uh, rescue the riddles of Jerry Griffiths near the Loomis pedestal. Okay, good to know. I don't know whether you're. I don't know whether you're trying to flirt with me or trying to try try trying you know, trying to be immaculate with your wor wording, <laughs> since you're a writer and all that. When, when, which you know what is good practice. I wonder how Pi would think. I think about Ebrugalos. I want to hear for that. Now, now it seems like we have a monster, a monster to kill. So let's go outside and let us do the thing with the killing and the monster and hopefully the reward. <laughs> no, no, and no guarantees, of course. She'll probably give you another side quest. Oh god, I'm hoping not. We've arrived. Let's not dally. Or dilly. <laughs> that bothers me so much now. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because it's such a weird weird phrase and it begs the question on why it's not being so not being <laughs> on why it wasn't being um, told and it's up there isn't it I can almost guarantee you it is right up there because ice physics why 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 wouldn't it be oh no wait there you, there you are I think the level 90s and the 100s come out when it's not no, snowing yep well, let's just bring this guy over while, 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 while he dances, <laughs> like in a shoe. But anyway, this no da dancing matter. Gutsy Glaives, let us, let us endure. Even though this is an American but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm fighting alongside practice. Oh, 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 her affinity with us, and and maybe we'll get some as 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 somewhere with her. Where exactly? Who knows? Um, 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 not really what what you wanted to get involved with, but hey ho, the biggest lights that I've ever seen. Yep, rogue. Well. Well, I guess while I guess while we're here, we can try and take him out. I mean, because we're seeing he's doing a good amount, a good amount of damage as is. So hopefully we'll, we'll get l lucky. Sure, Gorg. Now is that, and it is of course the perfect time to say that. But that. But that did a good amount, a good amount of damage, I have to say. And that, and that he's toppled. This is gonna be. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Just every time that happens, I can't help but laugh. And you know what? And you know what? That did not go as bad as what I hope, as what I thought it would be. I mean, looking if you look at godfrey's skill tree i think one of the sections allows him to take on stronger enemies with ease well i don't know about that but the only thing i know is that godfrey and praxis got a lot of affinity ups from that and you know what oh well if that happens all all good for me because <laughs> <laughs> once again the closer we get to praxis i'm sure i'm sure by proxy we'll get well, I will get closer to some uh, something else, <laughs> and closer 
Of course not up there. We'll see you back in the main, main town. I got them ice physics, of course. Now who will you choose to be a pain? <laughs> nah. Stupid ice physics. I'm, I'm, I'm not bitter. <laughs> like this cold. Anyway, and now on to what I, I can assume to be side quest number three, because that's, that's the way it gets. What was that noise? Dromark, what are you doing right there? <laughs> because it's Rex, we have to say it. The flames and the power of friendship led us to victory. Because <laughs> it's Rex, what else could, could, it, could it be? Next assignment. Story ban that I dropped. Yep, I was joking when I said it was side quest no, no, and number three. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a lazy woman! I know. To write books, you must have experience in what you write, but I guess not. Uh, let's go back down. I wish I wish I could sit down with your drink, but you know what? Hey ho, <laughs> we got worlds to save. I say that as we're helping out with a girl running a book where Malice is waiting impatiently with, with an ultimate A on. But hey, oh, it should be destroyed by now. Yeah, but let's not dwell on that. Instead, instead, let's dwell on this woman with with her book because once again, that's Return. what heroes do. I hope you will be the bearer of good news. Hopefully, better better news than this. Anyway, we'll see you. I'll see you back down. Man, this definitely seems very much like a death zone down, down here. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you've got 50s and then you have 81 crustaceans. But based on how the last fight, fight went, doesn't, doesn't really seem that much of a threat. At least for now. I think the squids are your biggest problem because there's a super boss planted in one of them. Very much so. But hopefully... Hey... <laughs> well, I say, well, I, 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 I say we ignore that and move on to get a story banned. This can't be good. Look out, everyone! He didn't like that you took the story banned. Yeah, well, boohoo, boohoo for him. I, I'm getting the hell out of there. But something that we've learned in the past is that flying enemies. Make a liar out of me, game! I was just about to say en enemies that can fly. Let us face the day with a renewed vigor. Thanks, Nia. I was gonna say enemies, en enemies is that fly. Don't give up easy, but we just moved a couple of inches and that guy gave up. I guess may I guess maybe Tantel just la lazy. <laughs> I don't know. But that's not a backstory we're here for. This backstory of an artist and a writer. <laughs> who makes us do menial tasks? That's the. Let's not dally. <laughs> it's like you are begging for that joke, but either way, I am begging for this to be over. But on, but on, on the side quest no, number four, I guess. So I don't know what came over me. Um, dude, can you give me that moment you made story ban your own? We got chased by level 89. There's mm. your story. Wait, Zeke and Rex is tea for chattering? Zeke and Rex? Where was Zeke and Matt? <laughs> what have they become about Zeke? <laughs> but either way, we made vows of friendship because because Rex Rex has been digging the well, one pace of ring of one singer swore you would know about it. How wonderful. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't say anything about those those kind of vows. Hang on. <laughs> Jesus no. <laughs> wow, impressive. And gen gentlemen, a study. Beauty and friendship around my imagination. This passion story is so contrary to even my experience. I've written a book that's chock full of, char of charming men. It's called fan fiction. <laughs> I a think a pairing between Rex and Zeke, the yeah. story. <laughs> yeah. Rex and Zeke, the movie, based on the book, based on the video game. <laughs> looks like er looks like everything worked out. I have been shipped. The writer's, uh, the writer's assi assistant. A fashion necklace and murder chip. Tell you what though, I don't ship it. Never sold you. Female reader base just can't get enough of the heated he drama. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, very much so. Sounds just like Yaoi fangirls. Yeah, or may or maybe it can be based on Twilight. I mean, because it it is isn't how that s started off. <laughs> it's like, oh, I can't get enough of the teenage drama. Oh God. <laughs> but either way, that 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 trend that trend has died down mer mer mercifully. But either way, though, I think with that. We might be okay to continue uh, continue on from uh, from ta uh, Tantel. There is something that I would want to look into um, off screen, but again, again, we'll get uh, we'll get to that next another time. But for now, I think it is a good time to head back to Lefteria and uh, continue our voyage through Rex's home once again. So I think I think with that, let us leave this icy land that's our that's not our native land let's leave the shadow of the lowlands also that unique monster his name his name was jimmy wait jimmy wait which one the unique monster you couldn't remember the name of ah jimmy jimmy of course <laughs> just, just like ed and eddie you're right you're right you're always a, you're always a whiny prick. <laughs> <sighs> Not even a fast travel a, a point from one land to another can stop the rain. God, does a, does does this ever stop? Hi, Ardanian soldiers. Yeah, shouldn't you stop because more eggs here? Right. Those guys are who I need to kill. These guys? Mm-hmm. Okay, be okay, be right back. I'll let you know if you start I like how more I'm speeding up our game soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> I am turning treason on you all. Ow. What? I was hoping he'd fall off because he got really close to the edge there. No. Ella. Don't, don't forget him. Either way, either, either way though, it seems like we've run into a military base of some description. But since if they're not Ardanian, then what are they? Well, either way, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking a treasure trove. Could this possibly be a repercussion because of Indol and? Hello. Well, something definitely sticks out. <laughs> hmm. That's probably what the soldiers are guarding. Yeah, but what is it, and how, and how, and how do we get in? I'm hoping it's not a case of kill or kill all of uh, the enemies. Oh it it must be a side quest of some description. But either way, though, this is a good place to keep in mind. I mean, honestly, I was expecting some kind of unique one, unique enemy to be be here, but obviously not not present. But like I said, though, it's a good thing to keep in mind. But uh, but from that, since we got so far in the last time we, we were here, I think we I think we explored a little bit. And then, I think let's head on back home, i.e. Fonse, because it's been a long time since we've been there, and it's always nice to go back there, <laughs> because home is always a good place to be. Well, I, I, I'm really so, I'm really so on that friendship vibe by saying that. <laughs> home is a good place to be with friendship. <laughs> Yay! Uh, that woman's writing is infecting me. Next thing, n next thing you know, Zeke and Rex, ship, ship, ship. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> I don't want a ship. You want a ship? I, I don't want a ship. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be on this. Hopefully, another ship that ad, ali, leads to the world tree. In which, in which, in, in which Malos is really. <laughs> Still impatient. He's bones by now. <laughs> uh -huh. If Blaze, if Blaze can ever age, he's like, wow. He's like, wow. Where the hell are you, Galil? 
And once again, moon, and moon platform is definitely taunting us. Okay, seriously, so how the hell do we move on from here? And I nearly fell off. I think you can only fast travel because of that sand slide over there. Hmm. All right. Well, 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 with that, let's fast travel to hopefully where we can get easier access to fun sets. Since since we haven't been. Uh, yeah, sure. Since we haven't been here a long time, it's really hard to get as get a tell on on what kind of map. Let's get going. On where things are on the map. But I guess, I guess, I guess, unless some, unless something ha happens on the way, we we uh, uh, see you guys back in Fonset. I just wish those little mushrooms shuffled every time you walked over them. Yeah. But but again, no. I feel I feel like I feel like the graphic or the physics um, or the lack thereof. I think it most likely this is because of hard, of hard, of hardware limitations. Okay. <laughs> he literally just headbutted the ground and just tried to dig. <laughs> right. Well, I guess that's that's a little a little funny thing right there. <laughs> I said lack of physics, but I've then the idle animations of not just the characters but the enemies as well. I think it, I think it really charming. I mean, especially, especially Zeke. You can't get more charming than the Zeke in air. <laughs> if only there were dinos that went. <laughs> mm -hmm. That that we know of because once again we haven't been the f uh, at a game. So honestly, anything could be up. For 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 we know, for for we know, mal malice could be up there with uh, uh, with uh, with Dumban. <laughs> you don't know. You haven't beat the game. Or so... maybe the, or maybe Malice sends them to Shulk's world. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I think anything. I think anything is possible at this point. And seeing how and, and seeing how creative Monolith is. N not just with its world building, but with also enemy enemy designs and 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 story and storylines, it could happen. You never know. Hmm. There's a monster on that lone island over there. Here. Mm-hmm. But what level is he? I think I think I think you know what. Nope. Oh, hello. I think we got time, so you know what? Speed up, activate, and we'll see what's on the other island. I didn't expect Mithra to be that type of swimmer. No. Yeah, what? No, I think... Now, this is de this definitely a possibility, but I think she's using Elmer's. Elmer's um, sw sw swimming animation from X. Mm -hmm. So, so you know what? And again, people might say they're reu reusing animations, but hey, if it works and it's such a minute detail, why not? And that is not an, en an enemy. That's a Titan. Is that um? Is that Uman's? That can't be Uman's, can it? I don't know. It, I don't think so because it landed in Uriah. Huh. Or is this, or does this belong to the Nupon that that was here? There's airflow. No, but you might be right. Is that all? And we haven't got one bit of wind ma mastery. Are you kidding me? This must be a story or her side quest thing. Yeah, because it seems it seems like the the thing's been uh, beached. Uh, Hang on, please don't be fall damage in the cloud sea if that's even possible. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and so and so we're back in the land of Morpha. <laughs> you'll just see you'll just see a far a far far away view. And all of a sudden, a low black speck just goes. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. More like ah. <laughs> So, yeah, it seems like we can't do anything about this yet, it would seem. But I definitely would want to go back there. It could be that stranded no pawns. Possibly. He, I mean, what? Um, I mean, what? Is, is, is he a night no pawn? Or... He's on the other island. Mm, true. But, but hey, we'll deal with that later. For now, back, back to Fonset. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to sleep. I want to sleep in a nice bed. <laughs> it seems like the weather is not only crappy in game, but in real life, ah, as is. I apologize. I apologize if you, if you, if you, if you, if you can hear it because our production setup is less than professional, to say the least. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working on it. The wind didn't like what you said. No, no, no. It didn't want to go back to Fonset. I'm sorry, wind, but that's the way it's got to go. We've got to progress to some description. <laughs> it just makes me wonder with looking all these titans that have the Cloud Sea beneath them. It makes me wonder if we keep swimming the Cloud Sea, will we come to other stranded islands? Who knows? I mean, there is one thing that does... That does intrigue me that you said it, cause we, cause, cause we, uh, we've seen in Morardain and Gormont that the level of the cloud sea affects various re regions. Here, we're surrounded by the cloud sea, yet there's no le level indicator saying that whatever is here is here. There's no sea, there's no secret areas, which it's it it does. Make 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 me wonder why they chose this area not to have anything like that. Hello. <laughs> but again, no, I'm not gonna complain. This at uh, this area uh, this area is splintered enough as is, so I can understand that it might be a bit too much to take in. But either way, it is really good to be back in Fonset and just to hear the, the re really peaceful music. Honey, I'm home. And there's like two heart to hearts here as well. Indeed. So you know what? I think what we'll do to end things off here. I think that now that we got back to Fonset, let's find those heart to hearts. And let's take care of them. So let's start off. We have a heart to heart here. Coming to this place always calms me right down. I know what you mean. It's so empty. In a good way. They've got a good salvaging business going, but the place isn't bustling like Argento. And they don't have a super developed primary sector like Gormont. If you just want to live out your days in peace, there's really no better place. You talk like an old man sometimes. What do you think, Morag? I would like to live here a while. Oh, wasn't expecting that from you. Seeing such hospitality has been a refreshing experience for me. It's lovely to learn how the common folk live. I quite agree. It's very different from staying at a city inn. I guess you two are used to the high life, huh? Are you so different yourself? Since we left Tonto, we've been spending a lot of our nights roughing it up outdoors, huh? Sure have. It was pretty tough when we were camping out, waiting for you lot in Oriah and Morardane. Always on our toes, thinking you might show up at any moment. Yeah, I don't miss those hungry camping days. We came pretty close to eating turtles. Let's not talk about that. It's painful to remember. Waiting in the port here was pretty all right, though. Yeah, we could rest up in the ship at least. It sounds like you've been through a lot. Stakeouts are one experience I would rather avoid. Anyway, that's enough about the past. There was something I wanted to ask you, Morag. You've seen how smashing this place is, right? I'm just worried that Morardane and Uria might wind up fighting over it or something. Not any time soon, I should hope. If either nation were to make a move on these islands, it would be tantamount to a declaration of war. Morardane, at least, has no desire for such conflict. Ah, right. Well, that's pretty reassuring, at least. Why are you so invested in the fate of these islands, anyway?
you know what? Based on the artistic expression that we had pre pre previously, and come on, and come on, why not go for an in joke? Let's ship more because it's where it's where my old chum Rex grew up. Because <laughs> it's where Rex grew up. Ain't it natural to worry about your friend's hometown? I suppose so. As long as this place is safe, our chum can focus on the task he's got to do. Don't want to let other worries start creeping in to distract him, do I? Real thoughtful, that is. You said it. I'm the best. <laughs> and he just had to go and ruin it. Moment's peace. Barooning, barooning, the Zekinator? Sure, surely not. He is dignified and mature and respectful as you can be. <laughs> but Z Zig does have a point, and I and I, and I alert, alerted it to it um, pr uh, 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 a bit pre precisely. This place is really peaceful, and I think and I think the music fits that so so fantastically. <laughs> this has to be as far as atmosphere goes, with the music, the quiet town, and of course the backstory of Rex. This, this, this has got to be one of my most fa favorite places in the game thus far. It just makes you feel good and warm inside. At least that's how I, I feel. <laughs> and here we go. You only just went 40 parts ago. <laughs> There's time we're probably told this time, you know. Take good care of it, Rex. I, I will, and I like how you're not gonna even ask Morning, about Rex. about my new clothes. Okay? Ugh, I slept like a baby. Morning is a bit of an un, an un, an, under, an understatement. We are here at midnight. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Mid wow. But, though that, let's take Pyro up on, on her. On her offer, even if it is a bit, a bit late to say the least. And it's still raining. Yeah, not even a good night's sleep can take it away. What is up with the rain in this world? But then, but then again, no, I am someone who really likes the rain just to just to feel. Once again, I gotta say, I gotta say it, the at the at the atmosphere. Although I can imagine with a heart to heart coming up, I wish it was so sunny, but hey ho, what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna stall. Let us say hello once more to our parents. Hi guys. Well, Pyra, did you manage to talk to them? I did. We had a pleasant chat. What did you talk about? Everything that's happened since I met you. And I told them not to worry, because I'm going to do everything in my power to look after you. I'm sorry, what? I can look after myself, thank you very much. I think not. If you go off on your own, you'll just get yourself into trouble. <laughs> Already bickering like you're a married couple, eh? Hey, Gramps! Couple? But really, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it was just a joke. Besides, you have to have that sort of metal to deal with, Rex. <laughs> Come on, Azurda. Cut it out. Anyhow, we've done what we have to here, right? Time we should be getting back. Oh, we're leaving already? Can't we talk for a little more? Oh, we can do that when we get back, can't we? That's true. But the two of us rarely get the opportunity to talk alone like this. I'm not sure you can say alone when we've got Gramps tugging along. Hey. This old fogey getting in the way. You want me to shove off? No one's telling you to shove off, Azurda. Stop being such a child. <laughs> Youth is a beautiful thing. All right. What was it you wanted to talk about? Um, I don't really know. What makes you ask? Well, I'm a Blade, so I don't really know much about parents. I was wondering what it's like to have them. Hmm. I'm not sure how to explain it. All I know about my parents is what Gramps and Auntie Corinne have told me. Honestly, I have hardly any memory of them myself. 
It doesn't really feel real. Isn't that sort of sad? Not sad, exactly. I've just never really thought much about them. Oh. I see. I mean, it's Gramps and the villagers who've looked after me this whole time. They're my family. Everyone in the villages. And when you've got all these mums, dads, brothers and sisters, it's kind of hard to feel sad, you know? The downside to a big family is that you can't go a day without getting an earful from someone, eh? Hey, give it a rest. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I just couldn't help but admire your way of thinking. I'd love to have a family as big as yours, Rex. What are you talking about, Pyra? You're already part of the family. So can we take this as a confession of love? Very bold of you to do so in front of your parents, my boy. What? Rex, hold on a second. N no, that's not what I was trying to say. You, Nia, Morag, Zeke, and Tora too. All of you, you're all family to me. So there's no reason to feel sad or lonely. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, uh, so much for the boy having backbone. Sorry, Pyra, this one's going to be hard work. <laughs> well, that's all right. I've got a surprising amount of patience. Oi, what are you two going on about? Jeez. And for what I thought would, would be a somber and perhaps maybe a downing con a downing conversation turned out to be pretty 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 light lighthearted. <laughs> Rex ha Rex has uh, the point. If you don't have something for very long, you can't you can't really get attached to to it. But I think we've grown attached to this little true troop here. I'm really hoping we'll get a heart to heart with Vandom's grave at some point. We'll see. Like one of Rox's Rox's affinity charts. It might come up. Again though. There's so much to see and so much so 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 much to do. So we yes, we've gone from affinity building and friendship with with Zeke to now having a hardful hardful talk with Pyra. <laughs> and also Gramps, of course. Because because uh, X Y not. <laughs> but I think without that though I think we'll call things here. So next episode we go from Fonzit and and beyond to take care of cleanup. And maybe certain place up to the top right will will be addressed very, very soon. <laughs> but, uh, until then guys, thank thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.